Enthusiastic introduction, Nick here with another vid. Today is going to be more of a quick overview of the brand new F735 amp all-in-one toothpick board. Is it the toothpick board to rule them all? We're about to find out. This is the Beta FPV all-in-one 35 amp toothpick board. And this is not the one that they put out a few months ago. This is a brand new F7 flight controller. You can tell it's got a real beefy chip right there. And it comes with a plug and play connector for the DJI FPV system, which is awesome. I don't really love soldering, so I'm excited that they finally came up with a adapter for the DJI system. I'll just show you what's in the box here real quick. Obviously you got this big chunky XT60. I'm probably actually gonna use this with an XT30 cause I'm gonna be running it on 4S, but this is great if you're going with a 6S, five inch, lightweight sort of setup. And we got some, some screws, spacers, etc. This is a plug for the DJI system. Um, your Vista unit will also come with the same plug, but you'll have an extra here, so that's nice. And we have a capacitor. So I'm actually planning a build with this very soon. I'm still waiting for the motors to arrive and the Vista unit, which has been delayed many places. But once that arrives, I'm going to actually be putting this to the test. But I'll just share my first thoughts and impressions here. I've used almost exclusively Beta FPV toothpick boards in the past, and they have rarely failed on me. I'm a big fan of their boards. This one has six UARTs, which is pretty nuts. You can see they've packed two, two levels of solder pads right up here. So if you're running, for example, your DJI system, a, a receiver that's not the DJI receiver, you can also run a GPS without making a soft serial. Um, you can also tell the motor pads are spaced out a little better than the older toothpick board, so you're not gonna get any cross wiring happening here. It has a dedicated solder holes for the capacitor right next to the battery leads, which is great. And overall, I'm very much looking forward to using this board. Once I get all my parts, I'm gonna be using it on this big beefy twig mutant four inch frame, four inch uh, HQ four by two by three props. That's basically it. If you wanna do this sort of build, this is great for, again, this is great for like a lightweight, four inch lightweight, five inch setups, sub 250 gram. And I'm excited to try this out once the rest of my parts come in. I'm gonna be using the 2004 3000 KV motors on this guy. Link down in the description if you wanna purchase this bad boy here. And I'm also gonna link, link to the motors below that I'm gonna use if you're interested in those. And I'll also link to this frame. Uh, all right, everyone, thanks for watching.